Some persons say biology is the simplest compared to chemistry and physics, whereas other persons say biology is complex. <laughs> well, upon seeing my jump score, I was like, what? Like, I felt so confident in biology. I felt like I knew the subject. Like, I felt like it was simple, but, but biology is tricky, it's confusing, and it's, it's, it isn't any simpler, which is why I bring this video to you on how to smash biology because that era of biology being <laughs> uh, is over. Like, this is the era to smash. This is the era to show biology that you can't bring me down any longer. Quick intro for, in case you don't know me, my name is Ova Benita. And let's get into what I have for you for today. Biology is kind of like a bulky subject, you know. It's not like chemistry and physics that, you know, has a clear pathway, you know, for doing it. Biology requires you to look into everything because once you miss one thing, you can't, like, you lose your flow. It has a whole lot of concepts. It has lots of terminologies. Imagine starting SS1 and you're already introduced to some kind of terms. You're hearing Teredo fighter, spermatophyta. Like, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, a, it's a conceptual um, subject. The first tip I have to you for you is to take your time. Like biology is not a scheming subject. You know, you can bring your physics textbook, skim through it, and kind of like understand what the subject is talking about. But with biology, if you don't understand that subject, maybe if you've, if you've not heard about that topic, like even though you skim through it, like you will not get it unless you sit down and learn everything bit by bit. When I was preparing for my jump examinations, or if I'm okay, any exam I'm still preparing for, the method I used to study for biology is way different from the method I study chemistry and and physics. You know, when I'm studying biology, I will sit down in a quiet place, read. I don't miss or skip any single thing i take my time i jot things down i have a dictionary beside me that i use to check the terminologies in case i understand them so biology is not a scheming subject it's something that you have to take your time with <sighs> biology can be like so so confusing that like you will not even understand. you'll be reading and you lose your flow you'll be reading a particular subject and you wonder what am i even reading like what am i even studying which is why you need to break things down you know Use images, study diagrams, use the internet. All these things are going to help. When I'm preparing for biology exams, you know, I use diagrams to study because reading, just reading theory, you know, the theory aspect of biology, you'll be like, maybe you're studying the excretory system and you've not seen an image of how the excretory system looks like, or you're studying, oh, um, about respiration and you've not seen an image on how the respiratory system looks like. You know it won't be worth it like you will not get the you you will not flow let me just put that way you will not flow use diagrams to study for example i'm studying about i'm studying the respiratory system and i come across this terminology called the um the bronchus and if I, if it's my first time you know i've not seen the diagram before I'll be like what is this which is why diagrams are very very beneficial it will help you link things up maybe they're saying things like the bronchus leads to this you cannot just cram that you have to know exactly what it is that's where diagrams come into play even flow diagrams when they are um, you're learning nutrient cycling all these kind of things they help to boost your learning it is important you link new information with old ones for example you're studying ecology you know as a topic in biology and then you move to ecosystem kind of like you're still flowing and then you find that ecosystem is now further divided into the biotic component and the abi um, abiotic components okay you're still along the line and then in the biotic components it's now further divided into producers consumers and decomposers and if you're just reading straight you're just studying straight you know you start to reason like how did this one even come out <laughs> how did it come out because you've lost your flow link new every new information link it with new ones how do you do this always go back always go back so that you will not forget what you're even studying probably you're learning about um the abiotic component and the biotic component link it in a way like biotic comprises living and abiotic comprises the non-living and producers consumers and the composers are all living and all these things are made up 
are, are all in the ecosystem that that's what the ecosystem comprises as a whole so if you're just reading straight you will not get this you know you will not get it so always go back check check again what am i studying let me kind of like link it up let me kind of like understand it the next tip that works magic is to jot down important points or to use flashcards you know like physics in physics you can just bring out your calculation book and start practicing questions but in biology is not like that you know i can tell you that writing things down keeps you engaged and it activates your brain so engage in writing while you're learning biology write down anything that you, you study you come across that you feel like this is kind of important this kind of like makes sense Put it down it will help further your understanding probably you're preparing for an exam and you have like this big biology test book you won't have to go back to that biology test book you go back to those important points you jotted down that's what you're going to use you know you're kind of like going to be formulating exam questions from what you study important points i think questions can come out you know you bring them out for example you're studying about the respiratory system and you come across this point that says alveoli the alveoli is where gaseous exchange occurs you hear that and you're like that's kind of like it makes sense let me you know jot it down i think a question can come out from this and you jot it down you know it will increase your engagement because you would have stopped and thought about the alveoli you know you'll be like yes and your brain is decoding all these things and because you understand it your brain will be like let's put it in let's put it in she gets it you know so writing things down is going to increase your engagement let me just tell you, you cannot smash biology if you're not doing revision questions and if you're not doing past questions. It does not have to be only jam past questions you do, whether you're writing jam or not. It could be any biology exam you're preparing for. If you're not doing revision questions, let me, there is power in those revision questions. Let me just inform you because you don't have to necessarily write them down in a book. Just at the back of every topic, there are always revision questions. They are there for a reason for you to go through them and help and they will help check checkmate if you've really understood that topic what i just suggest you do is answer those questions with your mouth because you're decoding it your brain is going to be you know bringing out the information fresh if you prefer writing it down fine but you saying it with your mouth trying to put it out in the right terms is your understanding will be like uh you're going to be like flowing you know I studied this topic in biology, um, nutrient cycling, and then I went to the revision questions. I found I couldn't answer anything. Do you know what I had to do? I had to go back to the topic, you know, and study again, study the better and the smarter way. Next on my list is to practice active recall and Feynman's technique. If you're not practicing active recall, what? like you're you're missing out like you're you're like your learning is mm, mm, you know what active recall is right whatever you're doing wherever you are just start thinking back can i still remember can i still understand do i still remember what this is practice it at all times because it is going to keep your brain engaged it's going to keep your brain afresh keep it working and keep it lively practice famous technique try explaining the things you learned to your mirror to a mirror or to someone if you have someone or to a child or to a toy or anything at all or even look at the door and try to explain what the concepts you learned from any topic you just studied all these things is going to increase your engagement and boost your performance and that's the goal guys that era of biology being confusing being complex and and uh, it's damn over like this is the era to show biology that you can't mess with me any longer i am stronger now i'm well prepared for this course you know and i wish you good luck in any biology exams you have to write be it jam be it the university or secondary school exams i wish you good luck i hope I know you learned a lot from this video so thank you so much for watching this video apply all these principles and if it does not work for you eh, know that you're not doing it well just know that you're not doing it well thank you so much I will catch you in my next video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here and 
ask your questions comments you know that's what i'm here for and i'll catch you again next week